Well, I want to keep talking about the Joker for at least 40 more minutes. Oh, oh great. And then we'll get on to the next. Terrific. One. Yeah. Uh, so what is your, what, out of 10, what would you give it? 6.8. Wow. Interesting. Oh, all right. I gave it a 9.5. Oh, wow. And, and here's the deal. When we left the theater, I started with, we took Lonnie. Juliet and Lonnie loved it. Juliet thought it was the greatest. And I kicked into a, a weird base level instinct of needing to be the contrarian in that situation. And so I just kept downplaying its awesomeness. <laughs> All the walk to the car, the whole thing, pointing out the the flaws between the comic and and the movie. And and You were that guy. And then by the time I got to the car, to I said, you know what, I'm just being an asshole. It was great. You sure. Know? And yeah. then, you know. Because it really was. It there's some it, it there's some things great. that like making Thomas Wayne, which this isn't a spoiler, but making Tom because he's in the trailer. Yeah, making him an that's asshole. That's great. Like a that a great choice. choice. I hated it. Oh. I was going to point out that that's a terrible choice. Oh, I loved it because I don't know how you get that guy to be the character that Batman misses so much and loves so much to avenge. Yeah, that well, it was just a total like dick. Whereas, whereas the way they dealt with Thomas Wayne in the Nolan trilogy, I thought was yeah, perfect. That he's this like like this bright light for the city and yeah. has done so many philanthropic things and that would inspire Batman to, to kind of be this, to have this source of of like wanting to avenge the death of someone who was so yeah. good to and, the city. And, and that it would ultimately disappoint Ra's al Ghul that he Not a guy going. who's punching uh, a crazy person in the bathroom. But in that world, I mean, I think it would take on the pessimistic view, but probably reality. Anybody who has that much money is probably an asshole. And has done a bunch of shady things to get that. That's movie. fine. And by the way, I don't want to. I don't know the terminology, the correct terminology for what you would call Arthur Fleck in this. As far as yeah. like, I don't know, mentally ill. I'm not sure what yeah, the. You know, yeah. I don't mean to get the terminology wrong, uh, but he, you know, perceivably was was uh, a little bit uh, wild emotionally. Yes. Sort of like one might say an an insane clown. Yeah. He doesn't have a posse, though. Uh, no. Well, he does. He does have quite a few. Quite posse. a few. Yeah, yeah, actually, I forgot quite that. A higher um, band posse. And then, and then I can't. I don't want to get into to too many more because he hasn't seen the fucking Wait, movie yet. So, but surprising. Uh, but yeah. you can probably riddle me this. <laughs> uh, we've discussed ad nauseum. I mean, it, it, it's almost lazy at this point to compare and contrast the universe building that Marvel did with their films versus the difficult time DC has had in replicating that. I thought you were going to say the Heath Ledger versus Joaquin Phoenix oh, debate. Oh, God. That's which is my favorite worse. because and before all these Jared Leto memes started going around, <laughs> the first thing I said, I went pee afterwards and I heard three different people while I was waiting for Juliet to, to catch up because we all, you know, we go to the bathroom after this fucking long ass movie. So I'm standing out there and I'm waiting, I'm on my phone and I'm hearing multiple people talk and they're all saying... I don't know. It was better. Was it? Was it Heath Ledger, or Joaquin Phoenix, right? And everybody's walking around, and I and I Lonnie comes out, and I said to Lonnie, I go, you know, the real loser in all this is yeah. is the guy in the middle. That no, everybody's yeah. saying who's better, Joaquin Phoenix or 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 uh, Heath Romano. Ledger. <laughs> yeah, no one is saying, <laughs> no one is mentioning Jared Leto at all. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. And uh, and Jack Nicholson just played Jack Nicholson in makeup. Right. Cesar Romero. There was nothing to like to compare it to. Yeah. It's a different take entirely. Well, wasn't Jared Leto only in the movie for like six minutes? The thing is, is he apparently so shot squad? way more than I know, they, they I know but yeah. like in the actual um, release. But I, I, like I think the it. bum out for him is that when this standalone separate origin story was announced, there were still... He was supposed to have his own... Yeah, job. there were like yeah. three or four different Jared Leto related Joker right. things in the pipeline. Yeah. And that's absolutely not going to happen. He was supposed to have no. his own movie. He was supposed to have a movie with Harley Quinn. He was supposed to be in the Suicide Squad sequel. And I don't think any of that's happening now. Joker no. currently the number nine greatest movie of all time on IMDb. Yikes. <laughs> now that seems <laughs> a little... I that know, might funny, be some hyperbole yeah. from is When fans. I said 6.8, I actually I enjoyed them. I think for me, as I get older, it's just the experience of it. It's just not a pleasant experience. Yeah. And I think that yeah. just weighs on it. It was well made and well me, acted. Me and Juliet were the only two people that were laughing uh, in the theater at the end because you when you like for for me and then just by virtue of being around me, Juliet has gotten to know the universe and everything. Yeah. The the talk show scene at the end, which you've seen in the trailer, yes, is classic joker weirding everybody out with yeah. awful things and being quote unquote funny in the worst way. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not actual jokes. He's being awful. But the character, you almost have to laugh because you're like, this guy is is so nuts. Yeah. 
and and the the discomfort of everyone around him makes you kind of at least it made us like laugh about yeah, you know I, what i mean I chuckled a few and like times. there's a few little jokes that are built in uh you know in that one scene where and then it cuts to the fucking gary glitter song or whatever when he's going mm-hmm. down the elevator like we laughed at that point because it's yeah. like there's little there's <laughs> little elements like that sure you know yeah but it wasn't like a funny movie now, i had to do i was tasked with this thing where I had to, it was a Batman versus the Joker thing that a uh, uh, magazine did. I saw that. And it was nice and fine. I, I, you know, it was a great interview or whatever. And then another artist, uh, Ash from New Year's Day, had to do the stance of the Joker. And the first thing I said is, uh, it's a difficult position for her to be in. Because this is a person who is a uh, mass murderer in the comic books. And, yeah. is, and in the right depictions, in the best depictions, is like awful. Right? And, and even in that, uh, you know tragic romance that that everyone loves he's a horrible boyfriend yes i think he's like an abusive i monster. think that it just comes down to the aesthetics people enjoy the aesthetics yeah. yeah and i think that this movie i really liked it because they there is no it isn't a fun merchandise movie no it isn't there aren't lines of action figures and everything else which as much as i love all that stuff it was nice to see something where it wasn't made as joel schumacher would call it to be toyetic right but yes. if but if the Joker doesn't have ha 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 tattooed on him, how do we know he's the Joker? It's true. But the laugh is excellent. And I do yeah, love I do love how they explained away the laugh. Like, there's a lot of good stuff yeah. in it. You really got to see this fucking movie. I, I'm excited to see it. But I, I go back and forth on it because I read about the explanation for the laugh. I go back and forth on stuff like that only because, you know, it's like when the Han Solo movie gets announced. You're like, great, we're going to find out how he got his blaster. And why is yeah, it? You, you okay. know, there, there's some things that, I think don't need to be explained. It's not well. Here's the it's deal. Not like it's not, it's not like that. It's not like that because it's not clear. Like like how they've done with the killing joke and other things. M- most of what he's saying is a, a lie or a he's an unreliable yes. narrator, yeah, unreliable. which yeah. I like that. Yeah. So they they give you explanations and they give you plot points and then you go, oh, that's how that happened, and then it gets either discredited or disproven or Questions. becomes ambiguous. Yeah. Well, so my question for you is. Where do you think this is going and where would you like it to go? Which I guess are two different questions. But now that they've sort of, they've abandoned ship with the Marvel style shared universe because it wasn't really working. And yet there are still, you know, the Aquaman movie came out. There's a Wonder Woman sequel. Uh, this Joker thing is is separate. There's the Harley Quinn movie that's coming. There's another Suicide Squad, which as of right now is just called the Suicide Squad. And there's some uh, of the same cast. And there's uh, the Batman. I'm getting more candy. For oh, right. Yeah. And then there's the Batman. How could I forget? Um, I'm excited for that. So what do they do? Do you think that do they make everything else worlds and multiverse? And I mean, there, there's a. You know, I don't want to see Batman in this universe. The the world oh, of, the Joker. of the Joker that you just no. saw. Well, in the timelines, I mean, I don't want to say, too, I, you know, it takes place in 1980. And Bruce is a little kid. Yeah. So the timelines probably wouldn't work out anyway. He'd it might actually. It would joker. just be like an old Joker. Yeah. 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 Jack Nicholson. Susan Romero. Jack Nicholson yeah. to, to Michael Keaton. Yeah. <laughs>